fellas. Are you ready for some St. Louis action today? Well, we've got the action right here. We've got UFL versus, or not versus. We also have MLS. I've never tried to stream two sports in the same stream. Two different sports. And there we go, the chat works. Yes. to switch the game to San Antonio. Three moments. So, yeah, it's the St. Louis Battlehawks and the San Antonio Brahmas. giving me some kisses. I love you, Adam. Mm -hmm.
Oh, Rick, how welcome in. Um, just got on from church. Oh, and I got a call from my mother. But yeah, I'm doing well, Rick. I hope you do better. I apologize for that. My mother was call received on the phone. Yeah. This is brain boom. No. Yeah. Have you filed a report yet on that guy? Since I said many times I feel, uh, I wouldn't, I would not wait. I would just deal with it now. Now is better than later. But that's just me. off is underway for this game and the San Antonio Brahmas are gonna bring this ball to the 32 welcome in John I was in for a little bit for Moss's uh, screen and uh, my mom and dad they left so they had to go so I had to make my own breakfast and uh, you know Concentrate on that, and yeah, that's all. So we have our first play of the game by the San Antonio Brahm Brahmas. All right. Oh, there is a flag already. Yep. Texas, t both teams are from Texas today? Neutral zone infraction. Already without any offensive play, now we have a flag for neutral zone infraction. Oh. Yeah, San Antonio, I think it's like two hours, I believe. 
I've never been from San Antonio to Austin, but I think it's two hours. Here's a run for a first down at the 48. I think it's like two, two uh, hours away from each other, or at least a two uh, hour uh, drive. Blues play the Dallas Stars this week. At least we've won the division already, so we don't have to do anything right now. There's a flag after a pass. Which I believe is either going to be a holding or a pass interference on the defense, I believe. It's going to be a pass interference on number 51. Yeah. Today, they're playing Seattle Kraken in the final home game of the season. 2-1, St. Louis in third. Oh, San Antonio. Sorry. All right, here's a run. Here's a first down, I believe. I couldn't see where the down marker was. Where the first down marker was. I guess it is a first down. Okay. Second down for no gain. Second and nine, he gained only one yard. Uh, quick pass, and that will be six yard gain or seven yards. Third and two, and here's the handoff, and you get the first down. And here comes the throw, and that is incomplete, thrown at the feet of his target number 14. Oh wait, is 14 the quarterback? Then, darn. Okay, well, it's gonna be second and 10. I'm just gonna get out of this stream for a little bit. Welcome in, Nesta Fiesta, Feel 502. How are you doing, my friend? And here's Garbers, I think that's his name. He throws, he makes an incomplete pass. It was out of bounds. How are you doing? Yes, the fiesta. Oh my goodness, my vegetable just slingshot. Hello? Hello? Hello, what? I'm listening to you. Can you hear me? Turn your volume down. Here is the third ten. Here's a big throw. And it's caught, but it's going to be short for... 
that's... I don't know, man. Will they do a first down? Or they're going to bring in the field goal unit. up and it's good and San Antonio draws first blood all right <laughs> I'm just going to work on my homework. Go Battlehawks. Sees the John Jensen. All right. 3 nothing. Brahmas. I'm just going to work on my... Uh... Oh. Meep. Yep. There he is. All clean and pristine condition. Say hi to everyone, me, including John and Sophia Stuff. Yep. He's gonna be placed right here, and hopefully you can get him into frame. Oh. Right there. And here we go. And these are all the social media links. They can join me and follow me on Rand Power. I remember Rand Power. They've appeared for quite a while since the 90s. House. I think if the Seahawks are still, or Seahawks, son of a gun, I call them the Seahawks, the Battlehawks. If they win, he's going to be great. Yeah, John, if you don't know Rick, he's been dealing with a lot of turmoil with his sister's uh, husband and stuff. Identify an element that has the simplest structure with one proton in its nucleus and one orbital neutron. Hydrogen, right? Which of the following statements are true about an atom and its components? Proton, electron, mass. Ryan Santoso is the goal or the kicker for the Brahmas. Now they kick it off to the Battlehawks. And he's going to carry it to the 36 yard line, 37 perhaps. Yep. Aging McCarran is in the game. For the battle hawks. So many hawks. Atlanta Hawks. Oh, basketball. And then Seahawks, Battle Hawks. 
As long as they're not the Chicago Blackhawks. Yeah. First and ten. Hand off. And he breaks through. And he's going down at inside the 36. The entire mass of the um, and another run, and he gets the first down right there. Blues up three to one in the third. Yep. Go Blues. Flag ready, just in case they call a flag. 9.20 remaining in the first quarter. By the way, the Blackhawks face the Hurricanes at home, I believe. McCarron with a play act or screen. And only gains one yard. Why do we have this combined by share? Bring it on, fella. McCarron, and the second and nine. Pass is caught, and he's down at the 39 yard line. And that will be another first down, Battle Hawks. That's your catchphrase for the Battle Hawks, isn't it? McCarron, quick throw. And he breaks through and gets the first down and is near the 20 at least. Very close to the red zone. First and ten. Kane Butler. If you remember Malcolm Butler, and then you see this, Hakeem Butler, are they related or something? I'm not sure. Uh, hand off. That'll be good for four yards. Second and six. McCarron. Play action. Throws to the end zone. An incomplete flag on the play. Oh, come to come to the end zone. Come to the end zone. Pass interference. How's it going, Metro? Pass interference on number 22 of the Brahma C. Walker, empty net goal for the four balloons. Hold on, just a
first and goal. Vamos a como las, como las seis. Sí. Sí. There's a throw. And he's engulfed by so many Brahmas. And it's second and goal. Yep. It's second and goal, guys. Uh, yeah. Here's a fun fact uh, for the Boston Bruins, mm -hmm. or not the Bruins, the New England Patriots. Whenever it's third down, they use what the Bruins have for their goal horn. All right, here is a big throw to the end zone. It's incomplete. Now, even though taunting penalties are probably not too common, uh, I can't. These guys are less taunt. Uh, you know, in the NFL, they taunt quite a bit. Well, here in the UFL, you never really see much taunting. Time out. Bellox. Which of the following statements is neutron? Estimated amount of atoms in a grain of table salt. Ten to ten to the eighteenth power. Charges false. Okay. All right. Ooh, my cursor was on the stop streaming uh, button, which I do not. All right, get ready. Third and goal. And McCarron waits, breaks through. He's going to run for it. Touchdown. Mm, Battlehawks. 6-3. And let's go Blues, by the way. Yeah. Let's see how many points they decide to go for. Um, let's check in on Adam again. AJ McCarron, the quarterback himself, scoring the first touchdown of the game. Two point ten. And a throw incomplete. Blues win. What channel is the Battlehawks on? On ABC. ABC.
six to three. break. Let's get some homework done while we are at it. Seven of sixty-three. Electron orbits the nucleus and a distance is relatively large compared to the size of its protons and nucleus. What prevents the electron from leaving the atom? Weave along. It's a song that's being used more and more now. People, this game is on uh, ABC. In case you want to tune in, there is AJ McCarron being interviewed by Stormy. I forgot her name, but she looks she looks great. I'm not gonna lie. off and it's gonna be the Brahma's fault and they're gonna bring it onward and onward to the 26 yard line and he's number 26 so that's an absolute coincidence <laughs> why madam in its entirety has a no net Here we go. Here's a run, and that's going to be no game. A big throw! Oh my goodness! I thought they punted it for whatever reason, and that's incomplete. Oh man, I would have been in shock if that were to be completed. Third and ten. Here's a big pass incomplete. No flags, as far as I know. No flags. And that means the Brahmas are going to have to punt it. Yeah, still 6-3. 
As you can see, the Battlehawks scored a touchdown, missed a conversion, and then the Brahmas just have a field goal from their first or second drive, I think. Brad Wink is the punter. The returner is number 11, Darius Shepard, or formerly of the Giants, I think. Bad punt, I think. And that camera angle is not very good. MLS, the conversation, Pat. Yep, yeah, MLS. I'm going to have it on 26, which is my Fox channel. Right now they're doing Philadelphia Union versus Atlanta United FC. Yeah, that's what they're doing. Uh, it's the Battle Hawks ball again. you were talking with him. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, my afternoon is going well. Just finishing on some homework. Yeah, here's a run. And, oh my goodness, there's no game. Stopped at the line of scrimmage, I believe. Yeah, I saw you were talking with Adam. I hope he was able to, you know, give you some advice. Four likes. Thank you guys. Thank you for four likes. 158. Neat. Well, now it's 154. Remaining in the first quarter. Here's a running play. And they get three yards. And it'll be third and seven. Identify the statement that describes the structure of the man. Seven. Let her rip. In motion. Here is a big throw. First down. Battle Hawks. At the 42 yard line, I think. At the 42 set hike yard line. Second and seven. By the way, guys, here's a reminder to make sure you're not behind on the YouTube playback. Here's a throw by McCarran and he gets one yard. And that guy is in Shepard. Only one yard. That's the end of the first quarter.
there is some merch if you want to check it out. If you think the prices are too high, just let me know and I'll try to lower down the merch to as low as I can get it. Welcome back, Rick. Who Jordan has made a new picture of himself. Yep. Identify the statements that describe the structure of an atom. By the way, I'm very sorry to keep mentioning you my personal problems every time you stream. But honestly, well, I mean, it's fine. It's better that, and how's the weather? Had a very big effect on my own life. Yeah, I understand. Stuff is good. Okay. In uh, Texas, it's sunny, I believe. Yep, it's sunny. Partly cloudy. And, uh, yeah. Some good weather, man. Each Alright, we're back in the UFL. It was third and six. Okay. And he throws. And did he catch it? Yes. Well, they give him the first down. Well, they gave him the forward progress. Tres. Tres. Or Salmon. Salmon. Salmon? Yes. I wish we had time machines to go back to 2000, yeah, or 1997. Maybe one day we'll go back to 1997 or whatever time. Here it's perfect, sunny white clouds in the sky. Yeah, same for me, John. It is a first down, by the way. You give him forward progress. Here's a short pass for a first down. And he's across the 30-yard line and gets out of bounds at, I believe, the 29-yard line. Tiger Farts, final round. So excited to finish this for 60 plus. Or tournament. Trying time travel would be fun indeed. Here is a short pass to 88, and he barely gets part of one yard, I guess. Second and nine. And also, what's worse, that. Oh. Second and nine. And it's caught! No! It's incomplete. I thought he caught it. Third and nine. <sighs> well, as a last resort, you could try to go with the flow. And try to comprehend him 
Maybe he has another part of the story uh, that could cause him. Uh, one thing that my cousin told me is instead of cursing them to eternal hell, we should still bless them, even if they treat us bad, because we would be living in gloom always. Here's another pass, and he gains some decent amount of yards. And it will be fourth down. And they're going to bring down the field goal units. I believe. Hmm? Ball at the 22 yard line. So if they get this, they're practically in the red zone. Here's a toss, and does he get it? Yes, he does! First down, Battlehawks. Here comes the throw. McCarron, first down, wide open, touchdown, Battlehawks. Mm -hmm. St. Louis is Dan Cam Gamble Campbell, the Battlehawks coach. Maybe he is in spirit because the score is now 12-3. Where's the game, Anthony? It says, I'll get you the game in a moment. Uh, after this uh, two-point attempt, I believe. Yeah, it's going to be a two-point attempt. I'll get you the link. Visit VIP box and see if you can get it. McCarron, toss! Two-point attempt is good! And it's 14-3. to three. The score is basically pi in reverse, the number pi. BIP box LC. Stupid, crazy. I'll get you the game. Just trying to get the link right here. It's got a lot of ads, I will tell you. There's the game in case you want to, you know, see it. I forgot to say welcome, Anthony. Thank you for tuning in. Even if it's just a fly in, Um, yeah, I still appreciate it. Oh, where's the game? Like, physically, I think you meant. Uh, the game, yeah. In the Alamo Dome. Silk over grass, glass.
much of Don Ariel and it's true, all true about the arrangement of that and electrons in an atom. Hakeem Butler of the Bellhawks. Okay, as the elements become more complex, the orbiting electrons in it arrange themselves into shells around the nucleus. Shell closest to the nucleus contains the kick off and the Brahmas are going to bring it to about the 35 yard line. That camera angle is not good. I'm sorry. Oh, you got that? I thought he. I thought that was incomplete. No, he's he's out of bounds. Short by six inches. Point six inches. Point six, not even one inch. Like point six. And when the lineman is injured, Austin Fowley of the Seattle or St. Louis uh, Battle Hawks.
nice. Just getting my food, and some stuff. All right. First and ten, Brahmas. Mm. Oh, you got Dean Blaine Dino. Wait, subscribe to Network? Right here they run. Second five, you run another run or short pass actually. And one on twenty. That's Stormy's last name. Guess they lost some yards, or well, lost one yard. Yeah. Mm. And here comes, I forgot his name, he's got to get a first down, Philly up, update, one nothing Atlanta United. I feel bad for Atlanta's hockey history. Y en junio, 11 van a ser 13.
Vamos a celebrar ¿eh? cada, cada fin de mes. All right, sorry about that. My mother was talking over me. And here's another completion at the 19 yard line. But we are pretty much close to the red zone territory. be one or two yard gain. Yeah. All right, third and two for the San Antonio Bravos. And here is the throw. And does he make it there? Let's see. I can't even tell. I guess he was stopped at the line. So I would say yes, that he did make it. And that's what they're going to measure. Oh, and it's short. Short by nine inches. That's four down. Oh, did y'all hear about the NFL that apparently they're going to remove the sideline crew? I'm not sure how that would work. But it is fourth and one. They're gonna run it. And there it is. First down. Inside the 15. And really inside. Yeah, inside the 15. Have y'all heard that? Is it just. Am I tripping or. Did I hear that they were moving like the sideline crew that moves the markers or something? I swear I could have heard that somewhere. Here's number 14. Uh, run. He's got a first down. And San Antonio is in touchdown saberation mode. Mm hmm. Three eleven to go. Uh, let's see if I'm tripping. There is a bit of a run, and he just gains at best one yard. Or. Second and goal. Oh, chain crew. That's what they're called. They have an injured offensive lineman, I believe. 
Greg Ayland or Island. Here. Yeah, that's one of the articles that I found. The draft begins on April the 25th on ESPN and ABC. I'll have fun with that if you're... <coughs> If you're diehard NFL fans, just like me, Tom Grossi, Mitch, maybe not Adam, but, you know. How many different quarterback prospects are expected to succeed? Here's a run. He is short of the end zone. I know there is a Caleb Williams, Michael Penix, Drake May. There, that's all I know. Is Spencer Rattler still like playing in college, or is he gonna draft? Is gonna declare for a draft anytime soon? Because we know one time he was predicted to be number one overall. And eventually, he did not declare for the draft. Two minute warning, by the way. Smoke salmon. By the way, um, I finally ordered my cleaning cloth for my Ray-Bans. Oh, hey, Adam. How's it going? Oh, and by the way, Ronnie, if you're there, Meat says hi. I love you and your thumbs and your hands and your heart and your heart eyes, and your heart kiss, and your pickles. Pickles! I need to make my own pickles one day. Probably gonna make them with uh, salt, and dill, and garlic. Welcome back, Rick. I don't even know what I'm doing. All right. Well. Game flow by progressive. Start a new trend called the pickle challenge. Oh, 
don't know what I'm saying. You drink a whole jar of pickle juice. And that's the challenge. Here is a run. And again. To the end zone. Touchdown. Brahmas. Mm. And the Brahmas finally score a touchdown. 14 to 9 is your score at the moment. They're going to attempt probably two points, I would say. It is going to be a two point attempt. Has there been any uh, like a three point attempts in the UFL so far? Maybe in the games that I missed, there was. And that guy is sacked immediately, and it's no good. But the Brahmas still get a touchdown out of it. Sign the contract, big boy. Come on, sign the contract. Two teams faced this um, last year in the XFL uh, championship, didn't they? <laughs> now that is um, yep, um, 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 seventy-four. Let's get an interview. The offensive line. Never mind. The DC Defenders face them. Next of all, here comes the Battlehawks. And then. Oh, look at him go! 40, 50, and down at the 45. Arlington Renegades. Oh, that's right. And DC. Did they face in the conference? Uh, I don't know. Oh no. Like the semifinals or conference finals before the league championship? Alright. It is Valhawks Ball. They got a great field position. And they get across the 40 for a first down. Oh wait, never mind. That's just five yards. Last year, St. Louis converted a three versus San Antonio in week one. Next game's up. Showboats, Battlehawks, Defenders, Stallions, and Panthers, Brahmas. Oh. I'm not sure why San Antonio entered my picture. And they do not get the first down. Thirty-nine seconds remain in this second quarter. Too many Texas teams. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, and he caught it. Oh, and he maintains control of it and gets the first down. The thing is, it's only like eight teams. They need to expand uh, onward and yonward as I 
would say. Um, what other markets? Oklahoma City, perhaps? Um, San Jose, maybe? Utah? Salt Lake City? They're just too small of a team, so we can't tell if they're at... Okay, never mind. whatever. Here comes a pass incomplete. No flag. Four out of eight teams in Texas. Five out of sixteen last year combining UFL and XFL, USFL. Or XFL and USFL. Oh, uh, yeah. That's the thing. The Houston Gamblers and the Roughnecks. Yeah. Obviously, one of them had to go away. Tech Technically, it's the Gamblers which survived. But now they're known as the Roughnecks for some reason. Omaha or Lincoln, Nebraska. And there's the second timeout from the Battlehawks of the game. What do you think? Do you believe they're going to get the touchdown or are they going to kick a field goal? Imagine if there was some kind of sport uh, team in South Dakota, or North Dakota, or Wyoming. That would be wild. Yeah, the gamblers were the team that survived. And they're still technically in the USFL conference, but for whatever reason, they decided to change their name to Roughnecks or Montana. <laughs> yeah. Maybe Spokane, Washington. Where did he was this film? And here comes another throw. And see how short they are. I guess they're going to kick the field goal. That's why they are bad. Yeah. There's your final timeout for the battle. Still have the challenge though. Houston Roughnecks of the XFL were good. Without a doubt. Here's Andre Schmidt. S Z M Y T. Thirty-four yards. It's good. And your score is seventeen to nine. Battlehawks. At halftime. Let's not forget the halftime. Okay. I forgot to disable the mm. So it doesn't trigger on me by accident. All right. <laughs> Dodgers and Padres apparently going to play on ESPN. Looks like 
Let's check on our buddy here, Adam. Oh, and after all, also, keep your eyes peeled for MLS. So Roughnecks didn't switch from XFL to USFL, just the name changes. Yeah, legally that's what happened. The gamblers survived and basically bought the rights from the Roughnecks from the XFL. going to take a dump, apparently. Yep. There's his merch promo that I made for him. Alright. <laughs> Let's do some homework, guys. Alright. This is Principles of Engineering. Oh, before I do that, I gotta charge my uh, laptop. I gotta put it, I gotta plug it in. I'm also gonna put my cup here, my plastic cup of water, well, plastic glass. And I'm gonna plug in my charger right there. Adam had to take a bathroom break. Yeah, I saw it. And he's gonna be gone for 10 minutes or so. Yeah, it is halftime. Sixty-nine the minute warning did not show up. I had a sixty-nine minute warning programmed here. <clears throat> Chatbot. Timers. Oh, how's it going, Ronnie and Metro? Thank you for the likes. I really appreciate it. Yeah, have you seen the show Stranger Things? I've heard of it. Is it the show that says... Uh, no, the show that has this song by Kate Bush running up that hill? Or am I thinking of another... Uh, so, or another show. And I assume it's on Netflix, right? <laughs> yep, it's that. Argyle from Stranger Things, and welcome in, Ethan. 
Welcome in. Argyle. Ooh, he has a played, uh, I'm not even sure what to call that. Slip over jumper is apparently what it's called. Argyle. Oh, wait. No, 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 not that. This. Mm. Hold on, I have to meet my mic for just a moment. Okay, now it's the 69 minute warning. Nice! Nice! Nice!
Son of a gun! Thank you for reminding me. Yeah, so see that 69 minute warning thing right there? I took that from Tom Grassi. But it triggered too late. Yep. Now we ought to be fixed, right? And the Brahmas right there. Hyping up all of their players. Anthony Becht is the head coach of the Battle Hawks. Oh, negative. What the heck? Welcome in, Rose. How's your day? And kick off. And we start up this UFL game back again with a kickoff where I can't see what yard they got for whatever reason. At the 39 yard line. How did we get 17? Well, y'all kicked a field goal at the end of the half, I think. This is first and 10. Days good, thanks for asking. My pleasure. Here's a toss, and the ball is out, and it's fallen over by the San Antonio Brahmas. Um, a fumble on the first uh, play of the half will give the Brahmas a swing of momentum that is much needed. My goodness. Can you believe that? By the way, guys, whenever I do, whenever the MLS game starts up, I'm going to do this. I'm going to be switching constantly until that UFL game ends and do this. That's the first turnover of the season for the Battlehawks. Even for the first game, they did not have a turnover. That's crazy. Knicks beat Bulls, clinched the number two seed in the conference. Bucks to face Pacers in the first round. First round, and here comes, I forgot his name. Big throw, incomplete. Second and 10, I think he tripped on the turf. Hold on, let me close this door. And also, I want to wear my uh, sunglasses as well. All right. Second attempt. These are my Ray Bans. And here is the throw to the side, and he's not going to get any gain. These are my pink colored sunglasses. I dedicate these to you, Rose. And they're even rose gold frame glasses. 
This style of glasses are the Aviator glasses. The original Ray-Ban Aviator. Pink evolved lenses through down, making a step out of the pocket, and he's going to gain back some yardage. Flag on the play. There's going to be a late hit foul. Yep. And then pink tips. Yeah. Tough break for the Battle Hawks. That's a great break for the Brahmas. Feeney. Is that the one who committed the foul? And here comes the freaking ball getting run. Yep. And they're in the red zone already. It's five yard gain. And brings up second and five. Now second and four. What the heck. Fifty six was fine, I think. But was late. Yeah. That's tough. And here comes the throw to the end zone incomplete. Cole there to defend. And there is Austin FC versus St. Louis SC. St. Louis City SC. Oh. Got I. So I'm going to make a small switch of logos on the other score bike. And here comes the quarterback to make his throw incomplete. Oh. De la caja de México. De la caja. ¿Cuál es el fin? Yeah. I'm going to try field goals. Santoso. Thirty two yards, and he nails it in. He nails it in, and it's now seventeen to twelve. Yeah, 
I'm also there. Blues, Battlehawks, Cardinals, and our soccer team all play. All play today. What do you feel about the Atlanta Hawks, I believe? I think the Hawks of the NBA, they relocated from St. Louis, if I'm not mistaken. Kick off and it'll be Bellhop's ball. 17 to 12 is the score. Look at him go. And he stumbles into his own teammate. And that's the place where they're gonna, you know, bring in the players. At the St. Louis 35, eh? All these kickoffs, they're doing much better than the uh, NFL. They never always, they almost never go for like a touchback or anything. There have been only a couple of times where they try to touchback. Uh, first and ten for five. And they're gonna run it and they get like seven or eight yards. Second, four, so it was six. And here's McCarran stepping out of the pocket, and he gets the first down, and he's out of bounds at the 48 49. slide after he Oh, you know the song Moon Form on Phineas and Ferb? That's it. And then he gets the first down. And let's hear it. Back. 
have to hear it on my uh, phone. It sounds like Dr. Duke is singing it. I'll check it out. And that fast is incomplete. So just um, go to my channel. Oh, we're gonna get a kickoff soon. Second and ten. I think Adam got the teams mixed up a little bit. Here's mixed! Oh! Incomplete. Andre Schmidt. All right, let's see your song. Okay, first, get an ad. 56 yard or 54 yard attempt. The kick is up, and it is good. Yeah, it sounds like Dr. Doofenshmirtz is playing it. That's actually a scene. And then Baljeet is from India, I believe, in the game. In the, not the game, the thing. The show. Oh gosh, not this stream, this stream. No, that, no, uh, yeah. Adam, I believe, got mixed up the St. Louis Battlehawks. Imagine if the Panthers and Battlehawks met in the final and, you know, I'm going to change it back to this one. Yeah. Y ahí están los ingredientes. Y si, y si tenía aceite. Sí. Uh, imagine if the Panthers and the Battlehawks met in the finals and the kicker for the Battlehawks won with a 66 or 67 yard field goal and won the championship. That would be the craziest thing ever. Still commercials. Uh, your MLS game is about to start. I'm just going to switch here to the MLS one. Baljeet, yes, he's Indian. And this game has kicked off. 
And it is very funny indeed. Yeah. It does sound, that's Dan Havenmeyer. I think that's his name. The actor for Dr. Doofenshmirtz. He's the guy. Yeah. Joe Malfa and Devin Kerr is on the call for the St. Louis and Austin game. Austin, though. Man. Um, hockey night on ESPN at 10 Eastern. We got the Wild and the Kings. I have not done hockey in a while. Kick off again. And the kickoff for the Brahmas will be brought to about the 34. It's 20 to 12. This is what we've been living this stream for, MLS and UFL duplex. So it started in the midst of the third quarter, here's a run for the Brahmas, and that will be down at the 41. It'll be like two or three yards short of the goal, or goal line, the first down. Alright. So far, nothing happening in the St. Louis and Austin game. Can I attack the ball? Oh, whistle. Okay, let's switch back to football. Second and three. Throw. Caught. First down, St. Antonio. San Antonio. Switch back to this game. It's called a foul. Double coverage. Here's the first and ten for the Brahmas after that conversion. And they run in and you get only four or five yards. We're already three inches deep into this game. <laughs> and that ball is going to be kicked into outer space. No, I'm just joking. And Austin FC is going to maintain their chance. And now Austin is trying to get it out of their zone. Switch back to football. Third and four for the Brahmas. Switch back to soccer for a brief moment. Nothing much happening right there. Third and four for the Brahmas. Throw complete first down. Brahmas. And meanwhile in this game, they throw it in from the side. And St. Louis. Big kick and it goes out of bounds. Switch back to this Battlehawks thing. And NASCAR, they're gonna say rat. Oh, they call the timeout? Hmm. 
Garnerverse, that's his name. And here comes the snap. And quick throw. Eight. Second and eight. Switch this. Nothing much is happening. And here comes the ball. And that ball is going to be maintained in there by Austin. Let's see. I live like two hours away from Austin, I believe. And here comes the throw. Oh, it's batted out in the air. Incomplete. Could have easily been intercepted. But there is a flag on the play. Passer, it looks like. Yeah, we just had a foul from uh, Tautela Pesafea or something. Tautala Pesafea, which will bring a new set of downs to San Antonio, who just used one of them. Yeah, terrible break for the Battlehawks. Here's second and nine for the promise. Makes a throw, complete, and he's across the line to make a first and goal. At the eight yard line of the Battlehawks. After that, rough in the passer. First and goal. comes a run. He gets into the end zone for a touchdown. Mm -hmm. Ramos. 20 to 18. San Antonioans with all the delight in the world. Third and ten. And the throw is incomplete for the two point attempt. And your score is Battlehawks 20. Meanwhile, the Brahmas, 18, after a touchdown. Switch to soccer for a moment. These graphics, man. MLS's graphics on Fox. They really suck. Somebody 
you just got a yellow flag. A big shot in front by St. Louis, and that is blocked. Switch back to this game. It's first and ten for the Battlehawks. And easy sack. Oh, watch out. Foul. Something. Oh, welcome back, Rick. Uh, yeah, doing okay. Third and seventeen. Big throw. End of the third quarter. By the way, if you're curious in which I sent him to live with my girlfriend's brother, uh, yeah. In which in 
stitch in lies. Just make sure that they take good care of him and be nice to them. That's all. No one else but my dad. Speaking of, okay, I missed a lot. Oh, watch out. Oh, yeah. Uh, speaking of her, by the way, she's coming at three. While well, I'm gone for my drive soon, she's a spiteful and hate person towards us. By the way, she only comes to visit my dad, and that's it. No one else but my dad. Try to get a hold of her. Oh, here's a run, man. He gets first down. And he's down the 25 yard line. Even if you don't believe that anything will happen, try to get a hold of her. See if he could talk, talk her into her somehow. I know you said she's not going to talk to anybody and you won't talk to anybody, but at least give her one try. Like. It's worth it, shot. Like, no matter what you say, you gotta try it at least once. It's a throw, and one yard. Yep. Um, Second and nine. Oh, he is sacked. Third down. Thirty fourteen. McCarron is in trouble. He's gonna throw. Oh, is it good? It's incomplete. He may have already stepped out from the line of scrimmage. And throw nicked. So that would be illegal forward pass. Meanwhile, in this St. Louis game, nothing happens. They're sponsored by Purina, by the way. How crazy is that? And that kick is good. And 23 to 18. 
Dion is your sister, and Roy Pierce is their husband. Mate, you know what? I could try to talk with them one of these days. No, um, well, I don't know. Maybe it's best not to talk to them. Maybe we do need to talk to them. I'll confront both of them when the time is right. Okay. Fair enough. So that's what you feel. Um, you know more about your situation than I do, so I can't really tell you what to do or what not to do, but I can try to give you as much as I can. As much, uh, Advice as possible. Switch back to football in a moment. I want to try CFL one of these things. Last night they, or last week they won against the Brahmas and the Bellhawks, or against the Sherbrooks, and the Bellhawks won against the Renegades. Kick off. That'll be the Brahmas ball. And he stumbles at the, what is that, the 25 yard line? And he's injured immediately. Or I guess not. And free kick for St. Louis.
throw to the side and lose this one yard. See this field goal or free kick from this MLS game by the St. Louis City SC team. Big kick. No good. And watch out. Austin FC trying to get the first goal of the game. And he's tripped up. No foul. Now St. Louis gets the ball there. And it goes out of bounds. Here's number 14. His performance. Inside. And he breaks through when it's third and seven, and he's not going to be able to do anything meaningful. Meanwhile, Austin FC. And the Brahmas are going to punt the ball. That kick is away. 30. 2 to 40. 2 to 50. 2 to 40. And down at the 38. Here's the run. He's getting through and he gets the first down, I think. Maybe not. <laughs> and a big kick. And nothing. First down, St. Louis. Switch this for the moment. And switch back to this. And he gets the first down. Oh, look at St. Louis FC, or Austin FC. Man. Oh, big shot. 
It's held in by St. Louis. Both teams still have all the timeouts in the world. Two-point attempt. Oh, they scored a touchdown. Mm, and they get the extra two points as well. Alright. Two-point attempt is good. And it goes over the goal. Welcome back, Rick. Okay. If you were to start the NHL from scratch, where would you put teams? Atlanta, yeah, fair enough. And Phoenix, Arizona. Sure. I also put one in Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona. Um, let's see. Atlanta, Phoenix. Put one in Houston, Dallas, Nashville. Uh, keep in mind that the NHL is all about being successful, and in the case of the Quebec, uh, Quebec Nordiques, just because you'd have uh, some kind of fan base that's dedicated always, it doesn't necessarily guarantee that you'll be successful, especially financially. But... Sure, Quebec, probably. I want to see what a team in Falfax would look like. Dallas, Houston, Asheville, Atlanta, Tampa, and Phoenix are the southern cities I want. Welcome back, Shia. It's been a long time. Okay, let's see. Also, probably would put one in uh, San Francisco, just because it's cold enough, I guess. Climate is not too hot. Um, 
I put one in San Francisco. I would have to. Yes, I know Atlanta failed twice, by the way. Yeah. I forgot. Yeah, they did. Well, there's the yellow card. Um, yeah. It's brown this ball now. San Jose is your Bay Area City. Yep. I don't know why, but San Jose felt kind of unusual. You would think that I don't know if San Diego would be a good place. Wait, how long is San Diego from San Jose? Oh my goodness, no. Not San Diego. They're way too long. That's the first time that I've learned that. Okay. Um, yeah, San Jose, I guess. How populated is San Jose? Second down for the Brahmas. Yeah. I don't know, man. Uh, it just feels a little bit odd that San Francisco is left out of the NHL. I put one to San Francisco, honestly. Okay, I'll switch shortly to soccer, just because there's this corner kick. And the kick is away, and they missed it. I know I did a video about this back in 2017 on my old account before I closed it back in 2021. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> this smells probably employed by Wendy's. There's the third down coming up. Yeah. I have to think about that, though. I definitely put one in San Francisco. And one in Seattle. And they do not get the first down. Alright, let's switch back. Did they score yet? No. Fourth and one. Fourth and one, San Antonio. And I get the first down. And now I'm at the 23 yard line. The 
mosquitoes have bitten me. Oh, we're close to getting our first MLS goal. Okay, it's back to this. First and goal. San Antonio Brahms. First and goal. Here comes the throw. Gambler or Garbers. That's his name. Here's the and did he get to the end zone? No. He did not get to the end zone. Third and goal. And the shot is close. Third and goal. And here comes the touchdown. Mm -hmm. Battle her almost. Four two three one now. And this corner kick from the Austin game. They're almost completely submerged. And the play. They're gonna tie for one point. Watch this goal from St. Louis, though. So. No. And that is no good. The San Antonio Brahmins can still win this, so. Third and Stoppage time coming up, and a shot, now the St. Louis City F SC team clears it, now Austin FC working back to get to the zone. the shot in front oh it's blocked This ball. Two of stoppage time for the MLS game. The corner comes in, and nothing happens there. Meanwhile, in the UFL game, first and ten. 205 for me. And, um, 46 6 change to go.
Oh, and Austin steals the ball. Prevent St. Louis from making some miracles happening. But here he comes. He's got the ball. And he falls down. And the ball is cleared. And that will do it. And this is scoreless. Let's switch back to this game, which has a two minute warning attached to it. stoppage time. All right. It's 31-24. The St. Louis Battlehawks have the ball. Two, one timeout remaining for, well, one timeout taken by the San Antonio Brothers. Looks like the Battle Hawks would take this comfortably, but they still have to put it away. Still have to. Still, looks like they could gain getting a stop. Here comes the throw, 
I'm complete. I don't know where he was trying to throw with that. Looks like they are going to punt it and gonna have to rely on the defense to gotta score. Yeah. Fourth and six. And the punt is away. At the 21-22 yard line. And it's where the punt lands. 143 remaining. The promise of oh, we're not to do this. And nine yard gain. Fourth and one. Oh, they took a timer. Would they make this comeback? He would certainly go for two points. Fourth and one. First down. That's their last time out for the Brahmas. Here's first and ten for the Brahmas. And the pass is caught. They are on the bounds. With one minute remaining, they get eight yards. Uh, 
Alright. Gam or Garbers. I'm gonna throw, and that is incomplete. 56 seconds remain. Third and two. And here's the throw, and that is complete. First and ten. And here's another throw, and 46 seconds, clock keeps ticking. Thirty second remaining big throw T and complete. Third and four. Third and four. So on commercial, we can finish this pretty convincingly easily unless something happens. Oh, the ball comes out and he threw it at the bench of St. Louis Bellhawks. Are those uniforms great? Fourth and eight for the San Antonio Brahmas. And everyone's a review. Fourth down for incomplete pass. Is still on the break. This is it for all the marbles to make the throw incomplete and the man of the St. Louis Battlehawks are gonna win it. Oh, and MLS 
Alex is going to start. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Now. And nail down. And that's going to do it. Battlehawks beat the Seattle or San Antonio Brahmas. 31-24. And the Brahmas lose for the first time in this game. And for this game, we're on the way. St. Louis covers minus three for y'all spreads. Stormy won on to me. I guess for this game, I'm just going to react as a fan. I guess, yeah. Oh, walk that one. I'm not going to commentate as a. Uh, like the professional sports commentator, I'm just gonna commentate like I'm a fan or spectator, sort. Just call it that ball. Went to the side. Look at St. Louis. That ball. Oh my goodness. No penalty. He said MSL instead of MLS.
that is still growing or is that Oops, that's the wrong one. This is one welcome in, Uncle Stunner! How are you doing today? Um I know you've been moving to a new home, I guess. Have you finished moving yet, or do you still have a long or short ways to go? How is everything going? Michigan Panthers at San Antonio Bombers and DC Defenders at Birmingham Stallions on Saturday, 7 Eastern on Fox. That's the UFO. Battle Hawks have defeated the San Antonio Brahmas. Happy late birthday, brother. Thank you. I saw your Facebook, by the way. I saw your Facebook. I've been super busy with life. Yeah, I could tell. That's your final score for this past UFL game. Oh, watch out. The goalie's having a little bit of trouble with the ball, and he finally gets it away. This is St. Louis City FC, or C, or SC, and Austin FC. Two new franchises. Yep. I think I'm going to do some kind of video speech on my computer after this for speech class. And also got some... I'm starting a new job, so it's been crazy. Ooh. Like, your last job was some kind of uh, truck driving thing, I believe. Like, I don't know if it's like a dump truck or some kind of... I know it's a job that involves a truck. I can't remember what it was. So you had that, and now... What are you working as right now? Is it the same thing or is it something completely different? Oh, okay. Why is this? Why is this open? No, nope, I want you to push down. There we go. I'm helping people with mental issues. Oh, wow. That's great. Um. Speaking of mental issues, there was this guy named Rick. He might still come on here for a few moments, but he's been on my channel. Oh, oh, a tow truck driver. That's darn it. I apologize for that. Okay, anyways, as I was saying, this guy named Rick, he's on my streams, and his sister Dion married somebody from Arizona who he says is a POS and um, you know that husband is bullying his kid oh my gosh oh watch out I swear this thing just does not want to cooperate with me yeah uh He's seen, he's been dealing with a lot of turmoil. Um, hopefully my thing doesn't disconnect. Um, that husband is very abusive towards Rick's children. And um, apparently Rick's dad, who's 91, he did not like that husband. But eventually, he forgot all his hatred, and now Rick is not happy about that. And, uh, he's been living pretty sad, as far as I can tell. Let's see if he appears again on, in the chat. If so, maybe he could tell you his side of the story. He was on my stream earlier. So, yeah, and now 
he says that that husband has tricked everyone in her fa or in his family into liking him and recently I think he had to move one of his sons and uh, send him to go live with an in-law I think oh here comes St. Louis pass oh go on St. Louis City SC 1-0 and finally we have our first MLS goal and who else but John Jansen's very own St. Louis City yeah um let's see if you can catch him one of these days Oh, uh, oh, Leslie, has he been back? No, I think he gave up. Oh, man, but boy, was he difficult to... Uh, no, nah, well, he's been trying to come back, but we hit him immediately. He only tricked us once, and then after that, he created some accounts, and immediately, BAM! And another one, and BAM! So he's no longer invading us. One thing he likes to do is he wants to use this pic of the Teletubbies. Some kind of porn image of Teletubbies mating. And boy, I was so upset with that pic. It ruined my life, it ruined everything. And, uh, you know, I haven't thought of it since, but that's one hint that it might be Leslie if he uses that Teletubbies pick. Um, yeah. We are 58 inches officially into this game, as Adam Muse would say. That ball goes out of bounds, does it? Yeah, but Leslie is no longer with us. Um, see what's going on on this other channel. I miss everyone. Yep. We miss you too. I hope everything is going well. I hope everything goes well with your new job, with your new home, and everything. And I hope nothing but the best support for you. So, yeah. I have another family in, uh, I have to get back to the kids. Everything is going well. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I hope your kids, yeah. Say hi to the kids if you can. Same for you, brother. Thank you. Thank you so much. Right, let's see what's going here. When in Rome, the promise. Okay. That's not a bad thing. Um, yeah. We're about to be 60 inches deep into this game. Did you know, 60 hertz is the frequency that are current in the United States and in Canada as well vibrates. Well, not vibrates, but switches from positive to negative voltage. That amount of cycles. And that's something that we're learning in physics, too. Uh, electric charge, which is measured in coulombs. Um, the, f the electric force, I believe, which is the K constant, which is 
9 times 10 to the 9th power, I believe. It's a lot of complicated equations, I guess, for uh, physics and also for calculus, which I'm not taking until next semester. Well, while we wait for this game to end, I know it's not close to winning, but let's do some homework while this game is going. Alright. And we are at 18%. the correct answer. Um, yeah. One nothing. John Jansen, our uh, St. Louis person. He's such a St. Louis guy. He must be happy right now. Uh, let's see how the Cardinals are doing. Yo, 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 yo. Let's look at the Cardinals. Oh. They're losing 5 nothing to the Diamondbacks. Houston Astros are doing bad. You're doing even worse than the Blue Jays. Blue Jays... My people, my Canadian people, they say they suck. But the Astros, man. Holy smokes. Alright, we have a corner kick. Corner kick coming up for the St. Louis City SC team. Do you even have like a mascot or a nickname? I'm just going to call them the Arches. St. Louis has the ball though. I love the St. Louis logo. It looks so majestic, crazy majestic, and the Austin logo looks pretty organic as well. Six shots to two shots, St. Louis Austin. Sixty five inches deep. Oh. No,
SM now. Change the silver light. Switch to an LS. Officially 67 inches already deep into this game. Down. 60 inches as Adam would say. Alright, identified a true statement about like and unlike charges. Alright, let's see. Participants.
And aluminum electrons oh. drift easily. Identify materials that describe them. Oh, St. Louis City is again finding a chance on goal. Seventy-three inches already. Woo! What are the characteristics of the battery? The battery is radiant in terms of force. St. Louis has made three changes, two substitutions rather, and uh, Austin has one substitution already in. Super guy. The conventional.
so, 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 so. Alright, he's gonna find a type of bullet to come in. Deep into this game, starting now. <laughs> Inches. <laughs> the curve ball. I'm going to do a little bit of homework on here. Oh, sorry.
Alright, well, still gonna watch this game for the next, well, at least seven minutes. But we're getting close to the clocks. Struck switched out for Zigma or whatever that said. Average current through the conductors. Five inches. I'm a little tired, but we're gonna cruise through this thing. Eighty-five is a Breakaway for, no, not breakaway, but chance for St. Louis City. Save. And here's, uh, oh, the ball gets away, oh my gosh. This Austin FC team is hard to look at.
Oh, big shot. It was fun, too. Oh, what do you know? We have three viewers in here. Three mystery viewers. One of them is me, apparently. And the other one, the two, might be stream elements and someone else. Maybe John. Um, site preparation with the stadium will continue as well. Eighty-nine inches. Claus is going Alpha Nerwinski. Heavens. Stoppage time coming up. minutes Ooh. 10 more minutes friends oh there's a chance for Austin there but they couldn't approve the chance or couldn't take advantage uh, yep. <laughs> Shots on goal with St. Louis 3, Austin 0. And oh my goodness, he could not connect there. Well, <laughs> give me just a moment. I'm just going to take 30 seconds to get it. Oh gosh, I forgot, it's my snack time. There. We're almost done, guys. Oh, here comes a chance, and I'll send me and missed it. John, if you're still there, oh, offside. John, if you're still there, St. Louis is winning. The soccer team. I'm back. <laughs> Not 
this little, well, big pear. I'm going to eat. By the time this game ends, we're going to be 100 inches deep. Anybody else from Texas like me? Because Austin is losing. I like St. Louis City SC though. There's foul. Four more inches to go soon. Okay, here comes St. Louis again, one more time. Tries to make an effort, and there it is! <laughs> St. Louis! En 15 minutos no vamos a ir. Vas a ir con así. Pues en 15 minutos no vamos a ir. Could Austin get a goal here? No, he won't. Mm. 
Berkey, nice and long. Three on three. One more inch to go. This is the last inch. It'll be 100 inches. Officially 100 inches in. And all these mugs, that looks hard. See if that works. And ladies and gentlemen, your whistle is finally coming. And your final score is two nothing. St. Louis City SC. Wait, one nothing? Did that one goal not count? Hold on. Let me just look at that and then we'll end the stream. Did not count. Green was offside. The heck? I thought it was two nothing. Oh well. It did not count. It's your scores. From this week.
your scores for this week, for this day. Earlier we had... Hold on. Your scores for this week's stream, this day's stream, we had the Bowhawks defeat the San Antonio Brahmas. 31-24, and then two, well, one nothing, really. Well, the Bellhawks defeat the Brahmas 31-24 to in a competitive game. And then, of course, one nothing victory for St. Louis City FC, or SC against Austin FC, another expansion team. Well, thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Thank you, Adam, Rick, Rose, John, and Esta Fiesta, and Uncle Stunner for coming in. And Anthony, and Metro, and Ronnie, and Ethan. And she agreed. Thank you guys for being here. I'm out for today. You won't scream until until like Saturday. I'm not sure though. Anything could change. But I'm out.